What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and today I'm gonna do a full beginner's deep dive into the new club fittings and part customization in PJ Tour 2K23. It is a really complex and deep system but I'm gonna provide you all the information you need to know on it today. So I do have other videos in, that I talk about club fittings and other areas of the My Player, including a full My Player deep dive into everything you need to know about it. You can check that out by clicking the gameplay playlist down in the description or just checking the channel page. I also did a club customization guide where I talked about how to customize your golf bag with different brands, how to swap out a different club, such as if, if you wanted a four wood instead of a three wood. So this video is not gonna talk about that. It's specifically going into the club fittings and customizations to change the stats of your clubs. So that's what we're gonna do today. If Thanks for stopping by. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, plenty other content on the channel, and plenty more tutorials coming your all's way. But to even access your club fittings in this game, we're gonna dive into the My Player menu from the main menu. This is where you're gonna spend most of your time. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in the menus in this game, but the locker is the first place we're gonna go. So you're gonna go to your locker to even customize your clubs in the first place. So in this video, it's gonna I'm gonna include time spent time stamps for you all because I'm gonna go through a lot. First, I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna talk about a general overview of the fittings, and then we're gonna move into how to apply the fittings. We're gonna move into how to exchange fittings and, and find the right ones, and also how to upgrade fittings and other everything involved with it, and also how what 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 you should even be specking into as well. What should you even be focusing on stats-wise for your specific my player build? We're gonna cover all that, but to start, let's just do an overview of fittings. When you dive into your locker, it's gonna bring up this menu. You can hit Y on the Xbox controller or triangle on the PlayStation to pull up the most useful menu for club fittings. So in this, we have, you can see your clubs, you can see your distances, you can also see what fittings you have applied to each club. So you're seeing me on my PC version, it's easier for me to show everything. And you, what you're gonna notice is like, you don't have very many fittings right now. And this much is true. And there's a few reasons for that. And I have to talk about this in this video because a lot of you have posed questions and comments saying you're losing fittings or your fittings are not applying right. And that is because there are some bugs and glitches in the fitting system here at launch week that hopefully are addressed and you never experience any of them by the time you get this game. So for one, there is an experience glitch and sometimes you'll jump up multiple levels. I believe they said, I believe they fixed it right, right now. I did experience this glitch and mine's fixed, but in that process, you might have lost fittings that you've earned uh, after that experience glitch, uh, which did occur to me. So you might've lost fittings. That, that could have been one glitch you had. The other glitch is sometimes you have to reapply your fittings after each round. Your club fittings that you apply to your clubs, they're not consumables. They're supposed to stay on that club forever until you either remove them from the club or you swap them with another one you have. You, the fittings should always be on there, but what some people are having on Xbox and PlayStation, I've not seen it reported on PC yet, uh, besides me experience it <laughs> but what happens is you pay to fit a club part on your club and then you play around you come back into the locker that fitting is gone that fitting is either gone and still in your locker or that fitting is completely gone <laughs> So it's a really unfortunate glitch to have. You will lose fittings quickly. So what I rec, if, if, the, if you're having that glitch, do not touch or apply your fittings until they fix that, which is what I'm in the, that's what I have to do right now. <laughs> I will apply them just for demonstration purposes in this video for you all, because I'm not attached to them right now because I know they're going to be gone anyways. <laughs> but I wanted to discuss that in this video because I know I'm going to receive comments about that specifically so i wanted to address that hopefully you all never experience any of that but as we move in 
to club fittings. Let's just start with the general overview of what they even are. So club fittings in this game, if you move across the menu with left trigger and right trigger, you can go across your fitting tab. There are three different club fitting parts that you can apply to every club in your golf bag, including your putter. Head parts, shaft parts, and grip parts. You can apply one of each to every single club in this video game. When you apply these stat, when you apply these club parts, they also affect your overall stats and they change it from the base distribution that you got from choosing your primary archetype. So your primary archetype dictates your overall stat allocation in this game, but you can further customize this with club fittings. So the club fittings come in different varieties and offer different stat boosts uh, the higher the rarity, right? So as we go through this, you start with the gray, which are uncommon. We have green, which is common. We have blue, which are rare. We have epic, which are purple. And then we have orange, which are legendary. So basically as you grind this game and play more, you're gonna wanna get mostly the epic and legendary variants because those are going to provide the most stat boost but also the least amount of negatives for each club part you unlock club fittings by playing this game and gaining experience so each time you level up you're going to get virtual currency reward and sometimes a random drop of either club fittings or golf ball sleeves but keep in mind, this video is not about golf ball sleeves. I will talk about that in the future, and I've actually touched on it in my other videos. You can learn more about golf balls there. Golf balls are actually consumables. You can buy golf balls with virtual currency. Club parts, you cannot buy with virtual currency at all. You can only earn these by playing the video game and progressing. So it's a grind as well. Now you get quite a bit of these, <laughs> unless you've lose some. Uh, so I have 37 right now. I wish I would have 100, but you know, at the end of the day, sometimes glitches and bugs happen, right? It happens in any new game. But your club parts last forever and they stay in your inventory forever unless you deconstruct them. So if you're running out of space, you can carry up to 100. You can see at the bottom of the screen, you can carry up to 100. If you're starting to run out of space, click on some of the uncommon ones and select them and hit deconstruct. Now, this is important time to mention, I will cover exchanges and upgrades in the few, it, later in this video. So be careful on just deconstructing everything because uh, you can exchange them an upgrade which can be very beneficial. But once you apply a club part to a club, it should be on that club forever unless you have a glitch until you exchange it, swap it, remove it, deconstruct it, whatever, it should be on there. So overall, these club fittings are the way where you're gonna basically improve your my player throughout this game and customize your stats the way you want. To actually apply these, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it from this tab. So say for example, and also before we do that, I actually want to show the check marks. So what's cool about checking the fittings tab, you see these check marks to the top right of each of these. I'm actually going to hide my face so you all can see everything. So these check marks actually show that you have those fitted to a club. Anything that doesn't have a check mark on it, you don't have fitted to a club yet. That's just a useful way to see all your club fittings and the ones that you have applied and the ones you have not applied. Because you don't want to obviously deconstruct the ones that you have fitted to your clubs. But let's talk about how you can actually fit these things onto your golf clubs. There's a few ways. The first one is by clicking one here. So this is an iron grip. It's gonna to show to the right of the screen that this is applying to a pitching wedge. But if I hit A on the controller here, and I hit quick fit, I can then apply this to all of my clubs in my golf bag. So in this menu, the golf, the, the clubs with the golf bag next to them are the clubs you have in your bag. You can actually apply it to even golf clubs you don't have in your bag, like the three iron and nine iron here. So you can either apply it to the one club, you can apply it to all your clubs. But are you noticing what happens when I apply it to each club? I have to pay virtual currency. So each time you apply a club part, you have to pay virtual currency. So 
the more rare the club fitting, the more expensive it is to apply. So this epic one costs 125 per club. Even when you exchange, even when you swap out club parts, you have, you have to pay. So another important thing to point out is it actually shows your stat boost over here to the right. And you can actually, if I wanted to apply this to my pitching wedge right here, I can hit the X button right here, and it's not gonna purchase right away. I can look at how many I'm purchasing and then I can actually make the purchase. So if we wanted to add this right now, I could add this, hit the A button, and it is applied to the pitching wedge, right? So let's go ahead and do that for this video purposes. I already know I'm probably gonna lose that one <laughs> when I play the next round of golf, but just so you can see that I did indeed add it. It now has a check mark. It boosted my power by seven, didn't change timing, boosted my swing path by nine, Decrease my transition by two, increase my shot shaping by six, increase my lie range by one. So that's one way you can apply it to that to a certain club or all the clubs in the game. The other way, you can use left trigger, go back to the golf bag at the bottom. In this, you can apply film as well. So let's go to an iron. Let's say, for example, I wanted to apply a fit to this four iron here. I already have a grip on it, but let's let's apply a shaft. So I'm gonna click on that club and I'm gonna hit fit. And it's gonna bring me to a fit menu where I can sort LB and RB to the different fits that I have. So we're gonna take a look and we already have a grip on the club. Let's add a shaft. So when I go to apply this, when I hit X on my controller, that's the Xbox controller, it's gonna bring up the same menu we were just at. In this menu, I could add the same two fits to all my clubs in my golf bag. But you notice, what is it doing? It is applying both, it's, it's applying both the fits I have in this golf club. Because remember, my goal was just to add one the, the common fit to the golf club right here, $25 or 25 virtual currency. But what happens is when you change, when you add it to another club it, in this menu, it's actually gonna add it's going to customize each iron to the same thing you have selected here. So uh, in this menu, it's actually best to just choose one at a time unless you want every club in the bag to be completely changed. But when I do that to each club, the fit fee is going to go up, right? Because I have to pay the, the, the rare fee, the, the rare fee here, 90, plus the common fee, which is 25. So it's going to be 115 total. But if I just apply it to the four iron, it's just gonna cost me 25. So I could hit X and then purchase it and have it on the golf, on the pitching wedge, right? So that is actually how you can apply, uh, that's the two different ways you can apply fittings to your golf clubs in this video game. I think honestly, the easiest way to apply it per club is by this menu. So when you sort here in a list, I can see that my three wood does not have a shaft and I can go to the shaft menu. I don't have one right now and I can apply a shaft to it. I think that this is actually the easiest way to do it, but the, the easiest way to apply it to all your clubs, or for example, say I wanna do a tray, I'm struggling with timing on, a on all my woods. I would want to go in here into the fitting menu and actually apply this to all my clubs. So I would click here and hit quick fit. I already had this on my three wood, so nothing to do there. I would add it to a four and five wood, which I actually don't carry in my bag, but that is how I would actually apply it to all the clubs of the same subset. I just wanted to show that because I know I've received a lot of questions on that specifically. How do you apply it to everything? How do you just apply it to one club? And so I wanted to show you all that, uh, but let's go into talking about what you should be specking into based on your playstyle and archetype. And, and then we'll get into exchanges and upgrades because exchanges and upgrades are key in the fitting system. So as we, as we talk about each different club part has a specific primary stat that it boosts. It, it adjusts other stats as well. For example, this shaping legendary item right here, this shaping legendary item right here, it, it increases shaping by 11. That's its most boosted stat. But look, it increases power by eight, swing path by five, transition by three, and it decreases lie range. So 
there are millions probably of di difference of these because every single one i've seen so if we compare the swing path these are swing path epics they're, they're both different this gives a nine boost this gives a five boost this has all positives this has some positives and a negative in transition you can even find two of the same we have look a 10 transition epic a 10 transition epic they boost and decrease different stats there are millions of different combinations you could probably find in this video game each one is different and unique and it's a random drop you get in the game so you have all these stats right how do you choose what you're going to spec into so for me it comes down to one primary thing and that one primary thing is your specific archetype that you like and choose in the beginning of the game so if we back out of this menu go away from the fittings tab and go into the golfer my player menu in this my player menu you're going to find your archetype your primary archetype dictates your stat distribution in this game i am rocking the rhythm loadout because i love the forgiveness and tempo and swing path that it gives it also has really good putting but it struggles in power lie range shaping and transition so since it struggles in power lie range shaping and transition what i what i'm doing is specking into those four primary areas so for example uh, i'm not specking a lot now because remember i'm, I'm experienced i am experienced that same glitch on the on the pc as well but on pc what's a little bit different i've been losing a lot of my fittings after the round so i apply the fit and it lasts one round and then it's gone so i'm not touching fittings on pc until that gets completely fixed because i it's i don't it's hard to it, it can take a while to get these and i don't want to lose them but in this example what I want to spec, I don't need to spec into tempo really. Maybe a little bit of timing boost, right? Just to give a little bit of a boost. But mainly, I want to be focusing on the areas that aren't big. So for example, I, I want to spec into transition big time. I want to transition, I want to spec into lie range. I want to spec into power. So I'm going to build my specific golf bag with the weaknesses of my primary archetype. There's a few other school of thoughts as well. Some people are actually further ex building into their archetype. And what I mean by that, they're, they're min maxing. So they're keeping the minimums, the worst parts of their clubs, and they're maxing out their highest, their highest build in their archetype. That's the beauty of this system. You can do whatever you want. You can have the combination that you want you can only you if you don't care about power don't spec into it spec into something else if you don't care about transition if you hit a perfect power every single time you don't need to spec into transition if you never find the rough why would you ever spec into lie range <laughs> right does that make sense so spec into and use the different club parts fit the right ones to your club based on your play style and based on what you're struggling and keep in mind you can change these at any time yes you have to pay so if i wanted to swap out so for example if we go to my golf bag and sort it and say for example we want to take a look at this driver so i have a shaft fitted to my driver what if i want to remove that shaft and it, my shaft is on transition but what if i want to change it to a timing one i can hit a and i can pay the price hit purchase and confirm and swap it at any time so that that that's what I one thing I love about this system. It's so easy to switch in and out different clubs. And keep in mind, even when you change your club brand, I talk about this in my golf club customization. But even when you change your club brand, you keep your club fittings for that specific club type. So your club fittings do stay when you change between the different club appearances because the club brands and appearances are cosmetic only in this game. You had the full control over your, your primary club fittings. So again, uh, I do want to talk about, cause I had this question in my other videos, what the stats are. So if you want to learn about the stats are, I go over that in my full, my player overview, but just a brief over, over through a, a brief kind of overview of it. Power, is how far you hit each club. Timing is your tempo. How easy it is to hit that downswing tempo 
uh, fast, slow, it actually, timing makes that perfect region much bigger and also that grave forgiveness region bigger. Swing path refers to how easy it is or how big the forgiveness is when you hit for your swing path. So straight back and straight up, that's your swing path. Now for three click, it's a little bit different. Swing path refers to the, the two clicks that you do after you set your power. Transition was called distance control in the last game, and that refers to that perfect power region, the white region on the power meter, or also the gray region. The higher that stat is, the bigger that area is, and it's easier to hit your perfect power. Shot shaping refers to draw, fade, and spinning, uh, so putting spin on the ball in the game. The higher that stat, it, stat is, not only the more you can draw and fade the ball and the more spin you can generate, but also the more forgiveness you have when you start messing with those stats. Because each time you add shot shaping in this game, your perfect region and gray region get smaller. Uh, so it's a, it's a risk reward, right? And then lie range is a new stat this year. The lie range stat specifically looks at that percentage you get at the top right of the screen when you're in the rough bunker or really on any lie in the game it gives you a percent right usually it's a broad percent like 70 percent to 90 percent but when this stat is higher you're going to get a more specific range you're not going to get a boost out of that lie but it's going to help you in your calculations so instead of getting a 70 to 90 range you may get an 80 to 90 or even 85 to 90. So if you find the rough a lot like me, you're gonna be specking into this because you're gonna to want to have the most accurate calculations. So that's just a quick overview of the stats. But what we need to get into is exchanges and upgrades. But again, keep in mind that make, test out different ones and make your golf bag the way you want your stats to play and also if you're struggling in a certain area boost that stat it's as simple as that and so that's how i would recommend you actually spec into and customize your clubs but something that's huge is the exchange and upgrade system so you get these club fittings by random drops after the end of rounds by completing sponsors or rivals in the career mode or just by leveling leveling up playing the game gaining experience but sometimes you're going to get ones that you're never going to use right so you can either deconstruct them like i showed you earlier in this video you can hit deconstruct if you want or you can upgrade them for example let's click on these green the green ones for a second so common i will show you how you can really maximize this uh here in a little bit but just to show you how you exchange so i would pick three of any variety here so let's just pick three so do you see the right side of the screen there it shows exchange so i can take these three and i can exchange them i can hit the x button and then i can create a custom fitting I can choose for any club I want in the golf bag. So for example, let's pick an iron and then I can choose what specific part I want. Let's choose an iron grip. And then let's say I want to spec into power, which is what I actually want to do. Actually for wedges, I want to spec into lie range because I find myself in the sand and bunker a lot for my wedges, right? And so for my wedges, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and generate a new exchange. So it is exchanging a common or an uncommon green club part, three club parts into one other uncommon. So when I hit generate, I'm going to, you have to hold down a, it's going to give me a club fitting. You can see it's stat boost to the right. It is random. So this is completely random. It's I, what I find it's, it's it's crazy because it's different every time. Sometimes you get minuses. Sometimes you get only pluses. So you can utilize this system to farm epics and legendaries. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other menu as well. So one thing that's huge. So let's look at epics here. So when we go to the exchange menu, so we can take epics if we wanted to. So let's take epics that I'm not really using right now. 
Uh, let's take, though, well, I'm going to lose them probably anyway when I apply them. So let's just take one swing path. Let's take one transition or one power. And that's a wedge power. Yeah, I don't really need wedge power, wedge swing path. But so we already have three on here, right? So look at the menu to the right. I can exchange these, yes, for an epic. But why would I do that? Because I can hit the Y button on the controller and I can actually upgrade. You can upgrade your epics into a legendary. The legendary you get, you have no control over. So the legendary you get, you have no control over what it actually is going to be. So you can't customize it like you can when you exchange. When you exchange, you can pick the specific club, part, and type of club you're gonna get and specific primary attribute. When you upgrade, you're gonna get a random, when you upgrade three epics, you're gonna get a random legendary. So let's go ahead and do that because you all know I'm gonna lose, <laughs> I'm gonna lose these anyway. <laughs> uh, so we got a new driver shaft. Because remember, it's gonna be a random for any club. So you cannot be like, I'm, I'm gonna get a wedge. But look, it gives me only, only stat boost. That's actually a really good driver shaft. So now, so say you've been farming a lot of epics and you exchange them and you upgrade, right? So what can you then do to further get legendaries that you will actually use? So how you do that is you select legendaries you don't want. I'm gonna hit A on them and I'm gonna hit exchange. So this is the method. This is the best method to kind of tailor your golf bag. Uh, the more you play this game, you want to get as many legendaries as you can. There's a legend, a lot of, you can get legendaries that have no stat decreases, only boost. That's why the game this year is a grinders game. The grinders, because remember, you cannot buy these. You cannot buy them with virtual currency. You can only earn, earn them by grinding and playing the game. Grinders are going to have so many of these and they're going to get the golf bag they want. So in this menu, I can take three legendaries. Let's go ahead and add three legendaries over here, just so you can see it. And then I can hit the exchange button. Say I wanted a driver legendary that's going to focus on, say I want a driver legendary head that focuses on power. You can generate this. Sometimes when you generate it, you are going to get something that has stat it's random remember it's it's it is random as far as stats you're going to get a primary attribute boost to power but the other stats are random sometimes you get legendary boost that give only stat boost to every single stat yes only some maybe one or two but some of them do not have any negatives so that's what's so important about you can keep doing this you can keep farming epics Keep upgrading three epics into one legendary and then take three legendaries that you're not going to use or that you that have stat minuses. So say you have three legendaries that have a stat minus. Take those, exchange them for another legendary of a, of a specific club type, component, and primary attribute you're looking for. And maybe you'll get lucky and get only stat boost. So that is what the grind in this game is going to be before it's going to take a while before everybody gets the right loadout or gets not the right loadout, but gets the loadout that fits their specific play style. Right. And that's what it's all about. I love the freedom that this system gives in this game. I love it. I love the new club parts and club fitting system. I do. I think it's incredible. Uh, it's 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 in depth. It is built for more grinders, people who really play the game a lot because it is a grind to get legendaries, right? Especially if you've experienced glitches and I've lost some of these. So I'm sure those will get sorted out. Hopefully all the glitches and bugs are sorted out by the time you're watching this. But I like to mention those things because I know people have questions about them and usually report about it in a comment. And instead of responding to each one, now it's in the video, right? So that's why I included it. So there you have it, everybody. There you have it. That is a full deep dive, taking my time, showing everything that you can do in the club customization of PGA Tour 2K23, specifically on club parts and club fittings, and how you can spec into and improve certain stat boosts. 
if you have any questions that wasn't addressed in this video or, or maybe you're experiencing a glitch you just want to share with us just so we know as everybody in the community can know uh, besides just me put it in a comment but i appreciate each and every one of you all for stopping by watching this video to the end you all are all legends i will see you all in a next video but if you got some enjoyment drop a like subscribe if you want to see more i have plenty more tutorials heading your way on all aspects of this game and i will also once i get my build once once i get my build and my club fitting stop erasing once i get my primary build that i'm going to play the game in in tournaments and such that is when i would do a full video on my specific golf bag my favorite loadout my favorite archetype combination that will be it's going to take some time right <laughs> it's got to take some time as soon as i stop losing my club fittings and such uh, but i appreciate each and every one of you all i will see you in the next one as always have a fantastic day everybody